A good denim outfit has never let me down. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all my formulas for the perfect denim outfit every time these are tried and true and they hold it down they're perfect for spring and summer so if you're interested just keep on watching welcome back welcome to if you're new my name is abria perry and i run a brand called fence down where we aim to empower and encourage individuals to finance a life in a closet they absolutely love today we are talking closets so let's go ahead and get into our denim outfits. If you are new here and you are not following me on Pinterest, Instagram, or TikTok, be sure to do so. I am also on Lemonade now. I have tons of fun inspo over there. So if that seems like something you all are interested in, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button so you stay connected on YouTube as well as my other platform. Let's hop right in. If anything that you see today piques your interest, definitely be sure to click the links in the description box so that you can shop the looks if I can find items, exact items, I will definitely link those and I will also link similar items if I find ones that I feel like are appropriate and worth you all spending your hard earned coin on. So keep that in mind. So my first step in my formula is fun denim, right? It has to have a little bit of pizzazz. This is how I keep things interesting and make sure that even though I'm wearing denim, which is a basic, it doesn't make me feel basic, right? It has a little something extra that feels special, whether that's a story behind it or whether the actual garment itself is visually appealing. So sometimes there might be an item that has some sort of sentimental value or just like immense value to you that although it might not appear to be valuable to the outward eye, you really, really love it. You love wearing it and it just feels special to you. Therefore, it is not basic. You may also have an item that is actually just different. Like this pair of jeans and outfit number one. These are a pair of Mason Margiela NM6 jeans. They are absolutely stunning, all right? Mason Margiela jeans, I can't even formulate the words. Like I really cannot even formulate the words. I was so pleasantly surprised this time last year when I picked up my first pair. I had the Mesa Margiela slit jeans in both colors, the white and the blue denim. And when I tell you these jeans are impeccably made, I absolutely mean it. And I understand the price point. They are not for everybody. Everybody does not like the style of them, but I personally love those jeans and this pair right here, which are like a inside out denim moment. Like when I tell you these are show stopping jeans, they are show stopping jeans. To the point, like I had these jeans on, I had these jeans on last week when I was visiting family. We went to see Some Like It Hot on Broadway. And when I walked in the room with these jeans on, my dad literally stopped what he was doing and he was like those jeans are so freaking cool where did you find those which is often his question with everything i put on he's literally always like abria where did you find that and i'm like don't worry about it don't worry about it sweetheart but he was like whoa so whether you like fashion whether you kind of dabble or whether you have absolutely no idea what is going on these are the jeans that stop everybody and i love special moments like that because they are just so interesting to me they're such a work of art and they can make the most simple combination the most simple formula that much more special so jeans in a white button up like this look is just taken to a whole nother level so have these jeans on with a white button up. This is just a basic button up that I got from Mango. I tend to not invest too heavily in white button ups because no matter how nicely you keep them, they're gonna get dingy and they're gonna get messed up. So with that being said, I tend to spend a lesser amount of money on them and then just replenish them often. However, this one from Mango has actually been with me for a couple years now, and she has been holding up with the help of some shout and my dry cleaner. So I have them on with this gorgeous white button down. She is crisp. She just came back from getting pressed. The really nice inside out 
deconstructed jean situation and I paired these with my Manolo Blahnik Hangisis which I picked up for a steep discount last year on Saks. It was like the friends and family and then like an additional 30% off. It was absolutely insane. These jeans I actually also picked up from Luisa Villaroma for a steep discount. They were about 25% off and I have them in a size 29. I usually wear between a size 6 and 8 in jeans but lately I've been being able to fit a 10 and then I just have to get the waist taken in but the 10 has been really nice for my thighs. I have I don't have wide hips but I do have athletic thighs so I have to be mindful of that when I am buying stiff denim. I oftentimes size up and then get the waist taken in to fit the rest of my body. Pair these with my Manolos and this gorgeous green bag which I just think is a nice pop. This is my Bottega bag and I also have on some of my everyday jewelry as well as my friendship bracelets that are so near and dear to me. They are the Be Iconic friendship bracelets they're the self-love bracelets and I personally just really love the messaging that is on them and I find that they are a really kind reminder throughout the day so I always throw these on when appropriate I think they are just fun we have the hangisis on which tends to be a little bit more of an elevated or elegant piece but I think adding in these friendship bracelets really really just kind of edges it up makes it a little bit more casual fun and youthful which is definitely my vibe so formula number one a good pair of denim and a button-up shirt with a pop of color whether that be in your bag or your shoe is a wonderful wonderful way to rework your basics to get tons of tons of wear out of the items that you have and just kind of mix and match you have that good base with your jeans and your white top and you're just kind of interchanging the accessories to fit the vibe fit where you're going this is the type of look that i would wear anywhere from literally church to drinks to date night you can make this look work for anything that you have on for look number two i actually went ahead and kept on my same exact base and i switched out my shoes to give you guys an idea of how just a good interesting pair of denim with a nice button up is a really really easy formula for both nighttime both dressed up moments but also really casual moments and i threw on a pair of white trainers these are golden goose trainers that i picked up for my birthday a few months ago and i have worn these things into the absolute ground thank god they come distressed because if they didn't they would be wrecked by now as much as I have been wearing them, I have worn them for work trips, personal trips, to run errands. I have worn them up and down and through the New York streets. If you know, you know. And they are still in great condition. Obviously, they look distressed, so you can't tell. But I know, I know how they feel. I know how the leather has broken in. And I know what marks on them are meant to be there and which ones are new. And quite frankly, there aren't really any wear and tear marks on these shoes i wear them i live my life i give them a quick wipe down and i proceed on with my life so i threw on my golden goose sneakers which i love to death i still have on those mason margella jeans because baby look at them right and then my button up and i decided to throw on a good bag that i can wear as a shoulder bag or a crossbody this is a valentino rock stud shoulder bag it is hands down one of my best purchases of 2022 i picked this up from bestiaire collective for an absolute seal and i have worn her down and i have no intention of stopping wearing her anytime soon i love metallics i consider metallics to be a neutral and i used to have i still have it but i used to use it non-stop a mark jacobs snapshot crossbody bag years ago and it was a shiny metallic is a shiny metallic and I attached my scotch and soda scarf to it I love scarves I am an accessories girl all right shoes bags jewelry like scarves I love scarves if somebody said to me you could actually only have one accessory I would pick a scarf because I can make a bag out of it I can make a shirt I can make a headband I can make a bag except I like I can make so many things out of scarves, so I love them. This one is from Scotch and Soda. I picked it up this time last year, and I actually just went in there this past weekend to see what scarves they have at the moment. They didn't have any new ones, but 
once they do please know i will absolutely be sharing them with you guys so make sure that you stay tuned on my instagram stories because that's where i share a lot of links a lot of recent purchases and things that are in my cart or that i have my eyes on and last but not least i put on a pair of sunglasses with this look these are some ray-ban aviators that i got from Saks off fifth i would say 95 percent of my sunglasses are 95 percent of my designer sunglasses are from either a Saks Off Fifth or a Nordstrom Rack or a um, reseller like the Real Real or Fashion Bio Vestier Collective. I can count on my hand how many times I have ever purchased a pair of designer sunglasses full price. It does not happen often and quite frankly the couple of times that I have done it have been like I don't know if I'll ever see these glasses again so I purchased them. Um, but these glasses are gorgeous. Got them from Saks Off Fifth. These happen to be a gift and a brand deal, but the majority of my sunglasses are from Saks Off Fifth or Nordstrom Rack. So if you guys are interested in getting some good designer sunglasses and some really fun, funky ones that you probably won't see anybody else with, definitely check out Nordstrom Rack and Saks Off Fifth because they typically have things that are like old season or just kind of random bits and bobs that have been hanging around different um, warehouses or stores for a while. So definitely check them out for some really unique sunnies. This is look number two. This is like my go to just easy look, right? You don't know what to put on. You need to go out, you need to look presentable, but you really don't want to do too much. Throw on a pair of sneakers, throw on a button up in some denim and you are absolutely out of the door. I love to put the crossbody on over it because it just adds a little bit more shape to the look. I personally have really been into oversized clothing. I've always been into oversized clothing, but for example, I used to hate when my jeans were like so long that they basically covered my sneakers. Absolutely love that now. I'm just really enjoying just having like a little bit of the sneakers popping out with the oversized button down. I think it's super chic. But like effortless and it just it gives me all the feels so this formula has never let me down a good pair of denim a nice crisp button up or nice top that makes you look a little bit more put together and some comfy shoes whether that be loafers or trainers with a crossbody is my go-to for an easy everyday look the formula of all formulas for your everyday look all right and now we have a going out a date night a brunch with the girls uh i'm outside look with these same jeans that we have been talking about because cost per wear is the name of the game i do not buy anything i don't care how expensive it is without knowing how i am actually going to wear it but this holds even more true when it comes to my expensive items and because these jeans were on the higher price i wanted to know exactly how I was going to wear them before I bought them. So I was just shuffling through ideas and it wasn't hard. If you have to think too hard about how you're going to wear something, then that means that it's probably not for you. It is okay to like something, like it on somebody else and not like it for yourself. You have to be real with yourself and take a little bit of like an introspective look and think like, is this actually right for me? That's with anything in life that you are financing, whether it is just you know an activity or a car or a trip or what have you the same thing holds true in your wardrobe is this item actually right for me because you can like something and not like it for yourself so when i knew that i wanted these jeans i had seen them i saw them on farfetch back in the winter time they have a matching denim jacket which is absolutely stunning and i love it but that's a great example of something that i love but i don't necessarily know if i love it for me would i wear it probably at some point would i wear it as much as i wear these jeans absolutely not so the jeans were the more strategic purchase for me because i knew that i would get an immediate return on my investment aka my cost per wear so look number three is the same jeans but but we got a cute little top on this top is from zara they've been doing this co this collection i think it's called the surplus collection it is gorgeous i got it in the brown color but it also comes in a white and this is something that i actually shared on my um instagram stories weeks ago it is now sold out but pretty much as soon as i see something whether i'm gonna buy it or i just think that you guys are interested in it i will share it with you all because oftentimes by the time i get a video out 
the item might be sold out sometimes it comes back in stock sometimes it doesn't so definitely make sure that you guys are following along and if something piques your interest and it's appropriate for not for your financial capacity and you want to get it definitely go ahead and get it i probably got it too and will most likely be sharing how to style it with you guys something to note for you all i typically do not share an overwhelming amount of links personally it overwhelms me i do not like to be inundated with too much of anything that's just my personal preference and kind of how my brain functions with that being said i typically only share things with you guys that i would spend my money on that i think you guys might want to spend your money on or that are specific things that people have asked me for or showed an interest in for example somebody might say to me hey i'm getting married in a couple of months i'm looking for a wedding shoe or hey, I'm a wedding guest, I'm looking for some wedding dresses. And then I'll start to work in those type of items into my content and sharing with you guys on Instagram, even if I don't have a wedding to go to in a couple of months, because that's something that you all specifically asked me for. Other than that, the things that I share with you guys are typically very, very specifically curated for both your needs and my own and i am very intentional about what i put in front of you all because at the end of the day i am a financial literacy platform first and foremost and it is so important to me that you all are not making any decisions today that are going to harm you tomorrow when it comes to your finances so that is my little spiel i say all that to say this shirt was on my stories a few weeks ago and i picked it up in two colors and i absolutely love it it has these gorgeous button details on the side that i actually opened up the two buttons at the very bottom because i just love the kind of movement that it gives to this look i paired this with a pair of ysl chunky platforms that are actually from the french um YSL outlet the YSL outlet in Paris one of my good friends picked this up for me years ago we have like a sisterhood of the traveling wish list I don't even know what to call it but we have a, a wish list and I'm aware of what's on her wish list and she's aware of what's on my wish list and when we are anywhere in the world we're shopping we're just browsing if we see something that is on the other's wish list we will share it with them or if we are shopping in person, we will call them, say, do you want this? And we will get it for them. We don't even live in the same state, but we mail stuff to each other. So that is my girl. She holds it down and she found these shoes for me for literally like $200. These are, I want to say the YSL. I don't think they're the Biancas or maybe they are. There was two names. One used to have a wider heel, like, like flared out at the bottom. I really like these ones. This is the one that came after that. Don't remember the name, but these are just some brown suede platforms. I think these are great for this time of year. It's just, you know, just right. It's not quite summertime, but it's not, you know, wintertime anymore. So you can wear your toes out, but you could still get away with wearing a little bit of suede, a little bit of texture. And then I threw on my Brandon Blackwood bag, which I thought was just a really fun pop because we had these really neutral tones going. Again, I think metallic is just like that girl. And in a color, it can just be really, really, really gorgeous. So I threw on this little Brandon Blackwood trunk with it. I really love this look. This is my go-to formula for a date night, like I said, for a girl's night, for anything where I wanna put a little bit of pizzazz, but I still wanna be kinda calm. Jeans and a nice top are timeless that's just a timeless formula did on formula she's gonna do what needs to be done every time so this is look number three and last but not least our last look look number four is a pair of recycled denim shorts these are thrifted they are from Ravarama in Little Five Points in Atlanta, Georgia. If you are based here, and I absolutely love this denim. These are a special pair of denim for me because I found them when I was shopping with my childhood best friend and it was our first time that we had seen each other since COVID. It was a really, really special trip. We had a wonderful time and a large part of it was spent shopping and particularly thrift shopping. And I found some of my favorite denim pieces to date on that trip these shorts being one of them they are this gorgeous stiff denim they are just so good and they just get better with time i love this denim 
whenever I get a pair of denim from the thrift store, I typically wash them and then bring them to get altered however I see fit. But this particular pair, I did not have to alter. They were just right on the first try. And I feel like that makes them even more special. So I paired these jeans, shorts, jean shorts, with a Loewe, um crocheted sweater I'm sure you guys have seen this sweater this one is actually a few seasons old but it is in this beautiful bright pink color pink is actually one of my favorite colors so when I saw this sweater I knew I had to get it I picked this up from the Loewe outlet in um, California the one closest to LA I forget what the name is but I want to say uh, Desert Hills I think that's what it's called Desert Hills outlet I have a wonderful essay over there that I met out when I was out there in October and I did some shopping and she sends me just the best pieces and she knew that I was interested in picking up one of these sweaters so she sent this to me and this was about 75% off from the original price so absolutely worth the money I actually want another one and now that I have one I can absolutely say it is worth full price the knitting on it is just exceptional like it is just so beautifully made it is extremely delicate though so definitely bear that in mind if you do pick one up just making sure that it's conducive for your lifestyle or that when you wear it you're not wearing it in environments that it could potentially get messed up for example i was in new york a few weeks ago i wanted to wear it out but i decided not to wear it out because i knew we were going to be going to some bars some clubs after and i did not want to have to figure out how to get hookah smoke out <laughs> of my beautiful alpaca wool sweater so I did not wear it so just bear that in mind if you have kids or if you're wearing it somewhere where you're going to be moving around a lot it is prone to kind of get snagged on stuff when I had it on the other day like my bracelet went through it but obviously I caught it soon enough so just bear all of that in mind if you're interested in the sweater and I paired this sweater with my Chanel dad sandals these are gorgeous they're metallic again there goes that metallic again that we just cannot get away from and I threw it on with just a black little tote this is a city bag that I picked up from best year collected and some pink Dior sunnies that are from guilt that's also a great um just like third party site to pick up designer sunglasses for I picked these up I want to say for like a hundred dollars max back in like 2019 and I've had these glasses for absolute ever so that is the look I love 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 looks like this for just everyday life I love a cardigan I love a sweater and I love to bring them into spring and early summer with me before it gets disgustingly hot in Atlanta because I just think that it is such a cute and effortless look for the summertime it keeps you kind of warm on top i can have my legs out all day but if my with my shoulders are cold it's game over so i am known for putting on a cardigan or a sweater with a pair of shorts throwing on some sandals some oversized sunnies and a great bag and i'm good to go i would wear this to run errands i would wear this to work from home and then go out i often work out of the house to coffee shops and things like that so i would wear a look like this there and i'll also just wear it chilling going to meet friends a casual dinner anything like that but a good kind of nice cozy cardigan lightweight and a pair of shorts with some chunky sandals is my go-to formula for the spring and summer so that brings us to the end of today's video I so hope that you guys enjoyed it these are my tried and true formulas for styling denim in the spring and summer they have never let me down and quite frankly I don't think that they are at this point so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. <sighs> we would love to have you. We would really, really love to have you. Like, come back, please. I really hope that y'all enjoyed. Make sure that you follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, Lemonade, all the things because it's like, we got a billion and one platforms at this point. But honestly, I'm just trying to connect with you all wherever I can because I love love chatting with you guys I really appreciate everything that you all like send me the way that you all speak back to me it honestly it means the world because I told myself when I started all of this if I help one person I would be happy and we have far exceeded that at this point so thank you for being here if you enjoyed this video definitely come back and I will see you all in my next video bye